Hello and welcome back everyone. So humans have in total 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. The cranial nerves arise from the brain while the spinal nerves arise from the spinal cord. These nerves, whether it be cranial or spinal, have special functions to perform, providing sensory as well as motor control over the body. The cranial nerves perform functions of sensation, movement and autonomic control. These cranial nerves are numbered based on their order of emergence from the brain, from the front anterior being the first nerve to the back posterior being the twelfth nerve of the lot. This numbering system provides a consistent way to identify and refer to each nerve and hence the nerves must be learned in this order along with their numbers in order to provide a uniformity and universal usage. Let's have a quick short overview related to these nerves. The first nerve arising from the brain is the olfactory nerve which is responsible for our sense of smell. Then we have the second cranial nerve, the optic nerve which is responsible for providing us vision. The third nerve is the oculomotor nerve which is responsible for the movement of the eye as well as that of the pupil and helps in keeping the eyelid open. The fourth cranial nerve is the trochlear nerve which controls the superior oblique muscle which is involved in rotational movement of the eyeball. The next fifth cranial nerve is a very important nerve named as the trigeminal nerve which is responsible for the sensation in the face and motor functions such as biting and chewing. The sixth cranial nerve we have is the abducens nerve which functions to control the lateral rectus muscle which is involved in outward movement of the eyeball. The next nerve, the seventh cranial nerve is also extremely important and is named as the facial nerve. It essentially controls the muscles of the facial expression. It also carries taste sensation from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and functions in salivation and lacrimation. The eighth nerve we have is the vestibulocochlear nerve which is responsible for hearing and the balance of our body. The next, the ninth cranial nerve is the golosopharyngeal nerve involved in taste from the posterior one-thirds of the tongue. It is also involved in swallowing and salvation. The tenth nerve, named as the vagus nerve, functions to control the autonomic functions of the heart, lungs and digestive tract and is also involved in the taste and swallowing. The eleventh cranial nerve is the accessory nerve which functions to control the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle which contribute to head and shoulder movements. And finally we have the hypoglossal nerve which functions to control tongue movements and in turn helps for speech and swallowing. So this was just a short quick overview on the 12 cranial nerves. In my next videos I will be discussing these cranial nerves in short precise details. For more study materials, do consider visiting our Patreon page on patreon.com slash studywiththedentist. I'll meet you all next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.